reason why I love art is because I want to be enriched and deeply engaged with what's going on all around me. I'm not looking to be distracted. I am not looking to find an escape, actually. I want to dig in. In these very recent months, so much of the work that I have done has been from home. It is so meaningful to be in a shared space, whether that be interpreting <laughs> the art and also just being honest with ourselves about places where we may uh, have a lack of awareness and then are just seeking some illumination in one way or another. What I've seen in the students just over these few days is incredible courage, because it's not, it's not easy to have somebody even, even just challenging you. But the willingness, <laughs> the willingness to be challenged <laughs> and also push back, make adjustments and continue growing. I mean, that's what a joy <laughs> and what a thrill to see. question now is about follow through. And I want to make sure that I'm not just popping in here, disrupting a few things, and then <laughs> um, there's not a consistency. And I know the responsibility that every teacher has in a, in a young person's life. And teachers come in all sorts of forms. But I didn't realize now how, like the amount of investment that I have in my performance life, I think is going to be shifting re pretty intensely to these young people. I'm really grateful for all of my training. I think one thing that was, one thing I misunderstood was this idea that as a performer, your role in bringing a, a piece of work to life somehow is not as critical and important as the role of the people who are writing the art. And the amount of specificity, the amount of intention, the amount of questioning of oneself and of the world around you, that is a life pursuit. And that you do not have to abandon any part of yourself in order to be accepted or palatable. <laughs> but I, I do think it's worth it. I hope that the students feel it is too. <laughs> the organization of the vowels, having this clear in your mind, particularly if you're in a moment when you're afraid, mm -hmm. it's like, it's so good to know like, okay, if I just, if I just make the vowel here, under any, at least, at least that little thing will help, will help to ground my voice and will create a clear sound. In this day and age, it's very easy to become distracted and also to avoid dealing with whatever reality you're not wanting to have to deal with. And that's a frightening thing, actually. One thing that art helps us to do is to focus. One thing that the practice and for lack of a better word, the discipline of pursuing a craft helps us to do is to focus. Focus energy, focus intention, focus time. Increasing one's, one's capacity to listen, increasing one's capacity to take in what's around you and respond without judgment, but with an embrace. These are huge life lessons that I, I, mean, I certainly need to be reminded of all the time. I think every human being needs to be reminded of these things all the time. Um, how nice that such, along with these intense life lessons, there's such great joy that comes from music making. <laughs> I mean, yeah, best, best of both, every world, <laughs> best of every world. <laughs>